So today we're looking at the CFAF240320 W, which is IPS, and V, which is the standard TFT display. It's a very nice looking high resolution. It's a 200 dots per inch in both X and Y display. On the left is the IPS, the W, and on the right is the V, which is a standard TN display. Uh, it's being driven in spy mode by a Seduino, so it's not super fast. It does have 8-bit uh, parallel mode and 16-bit, uh, so you can drive it a lot faster than that. Here's a close shot of the IPS display, the W. Here's a close shot of the standard TN display, the V. So now we'll take a look at the viewing angle comparing the IPS display on the left with the normal TN display on the right. The most obvious change is in the 6 o'clock direction where the TN display inverts. It's not quite so obvious in the 9 o'clock or 3 o'clock, although you can see that the IPS display is better there. In the 12 o'clock, which is the TN display is a 12 o'clock display, there's not much difference at all. So there the TN display, the background's gone dark. And then again here the TN display, the background's gone dark. And in the 6 o'clock the TN inverts. That's its weak area. So if you need a display that has really great all-around viewing angles, the IPS display is better. But for a display that looks good in kind of the normal range and costs a little less, the TN display on the right is fine. This is a quick demonstration of the touchscreen on the CFAF 240320W. It's connected to the Arduino with a very simple four-wire routine using uh, four of the analog pins. The routine simply reads the X and Y, scales them, and draws a circle. 